good morning student today we are going to start elements of accounts that is part 1 here there are two parts for accountancy today we will be starting the first part okay before we start lesson 1 i'll just give you a brief introduction about accountancy okay for that i would like to give an example of your father if he is doing a business and in that particular business he might be having number of transaction in a day as we are all human being it is not possible for us to remember each and every activity of business in our mind not only business activities if we do our routine work we can't remember that at what time what work we have done time by time and second by second okay so same way in accounts also in business also okay each and everything which is going on can't be remembered by human being so it is very much important to record the details of accounts okay that is whatever business transactions are taking place is recorded in accounts okay so this is the role of accountancy that whatever transactions are taking place in the business are to be recorded somewhere for future okay now we'll start lesson 1 accounting and its terminology okay terminology means there are many different terms accountancy itself is a new term for you so we'll understand all that and other terms which are there in accountancy that also we'll understand first we'll start with introduction part okay now see what they have written human being has its separate and special existence in the universe human being is an intellectual animal human being has different lifestyle its lifestyle is related with social religious economic needs to fulfill this needs he has to take support of other people every individual has own one's own distinct existence skill and limitation every individual exchange his skill with other individual in the society every individual give benefit of their personal skills to other and take benefit of the other skills due to his limitation in this fashion an individual meets his own need this is just an introduction of accountancy but before that they have just given a brief introduction regarding the human beings okay this you have all learned in ss also that we all human beings have their different needs and to satisfy that needs we have to do work each and every individual is different from one another and same way his skill the way of working style that is also different okay now after that they have mentioned that there is barter system was prevailing in economy due to absence of money okay so this you also you have learned in ss that when money was not into existence okay so barter system was taking place that one person if he is a tailor and the other person he is a cobbler so they were exchanging their goods okay like that in this system product was exchanged against product or product was exchanged against service okay same way if there is a doctor and there is a farmer so he will take the Uh, facility from the doctor and in exchange of that uh, facility or that medicines which he is taking from the doc doctor he would have given him grains okay so either um, what they have stated here either you can exchange product or you can exchange the product against service a farmer has grain and he is in need of cloth and uh, who has cloth is in need of grain in this case both the parties used to fulfill their needs by exchange of product in this barter system product or services was used in exchange to purchase another product or service barter system had practical limitation due to limitation of barter system a need was emerged for such medium of exchange which would be acceptable to all so because of the human beings need day by day there was a need okay and a medium of exchange has to come into existence okay and that medium of now see because of the limitation of barter system okay we are here that is due to limitation of barter system a need was emerged for such medium of exchange which would be acceptable to all so further see because of this limitation what came into existence so money came into existence as a medium of exchange that will see in the next paragraph see in present time money is used as a medium of exchange in present time coin currency notes uh, and uh, now even plastic currency is used in the form of uh, money that is plastic currency is uh, they are talking about debit card and credit card okay so plastic currency here they are talking about uh, debit card and credit card clear so for such 
system where money is used to be uh, used as a medium of exchange it is known as monetary economy now this is an important term for you that what do you mean by monetary economy okay monetary economy means where money is coming into consideration for example if you are going and purchasing something and you are paying the money that is a money monetary uh, economy okay but if somebody is gifting you some product then it is not known as monetary but it will be considered as non monetary okay so see here under this system by selling the product money is procured and from acquired money product is purchased thus it can be said that product purchases money and money purchases product that is you are purchasing the product with the money and the seller is getting the money so that's why it is vice versa process so in present time human being uses money to fulfill his own needs generally this medium of money is acceptable to all the parties due to acceptability quality of money transaction takes place okay in all everywhere wherever you go if you want to purchase anything you have to pay the money so it is an acceptable quality of money transaction which takes place everywhere when transaction are made through money they are called economic transaction in absence of money transaction used to take place those transaction were based on barter system so previously when money did not came into existence what was there so barter system was there now money came into transaction okay so all the transactions are called economic transaction okay so the another word is this that is economic transaction okay so remember that economic transaction and monetary transaction are one and the same okay economic transaction and monetary transactions are one and the same okay again i'm repeating whenever you are purchasing anything and you are giving money or whenever you are selling anything and you are getting money okay so that transactions are known as monetary transactions or economic transaction same way non economic transaction or non monetary transaction means somebody is gifting you or somebody is offering that article uh, for just as a free one to you okay um, so that transaction will be considered as non monetary or non economic transaction see again here they have said in absence of money transaction used to take place those transactions were based on barter system transaction made with the help of money as a medium are known as monetary transaction transaction whether made through barter or monetary system are required to record and prepare accounts it is mentioned in the history that accounts were maintained in ancient time also it is not like that that this had came accountancy is not a new subject but in our history also it is mentioned that uh, the kings during that time period in ancient time period they were also recording the transactions of trade in their books okay so it is not a new concept don't treat it as a new concept because in our history at many places it has been mentioned further we will see that social and economic needs of society are changing with time and requirement like legal medical engineering science subject accountancy subject has also emerged to assist social and economic activity see what here they have said that social and economic needs of society are changing every time it is being changed as per the time and requirement okay previously 20 years ago the needs were different now right now if we see the needs are different okay when mobile phones were not there so there was no need of the, that mobile phones to anyone okay but nowadays it is very important for each and every one to have the mobile phone for their uh, better facilities okay so same way there are many other concepts also that is legal medical engineering and other subjects where there is a need of social and economic activity fine okay? we'll see next page see from ancient time now here they have mentioned that how in ancient time period accounts was there okay so what is there stated from ancient time accounting system prevails in one or another way indian historians have described economics of chanakya and explained the existence and significance of accountancy okay so in our history chanakya was taking very much interest in economics and there is a record uh, that uh, accountancy was also there western historians okay this was our ancient indian historian chanakya now if we see western historians have given credit for the same to the mathematician named mr luca pacioli of italy so if this can be an objective question you have to remember like this that who was the western mathematician who has given importance to accountancy so it he was mr luca pacioli he was from italy okay 
There are several options about origin of accounting, but for its use and significance, common practice prevails across the world. Due to industrial revolution and expansion of business, trade activities, the uses, and the significance of accountancy has increased day by day. See, as time is going and we are going towards modernization, day by day there are many changes which are coming. Uh, in the market and because of that there is a need of accountancy and in accountancy also many changes took place okay before acquiring information of accountancy let us acquire primary knowledge of accounting okay so first we'll get the primary knowledge of accounts so we'll see the second paragraph for that accounts in normal term are record of receipt and payment see what do you mean by receipt and payment receipt means whenever you are receiving some money payment means whenever you are paying some money so accounts can be considered as in terms of records so you have to record the transactions of receipts and payment as well as of income and expenditure okay income means your profit expenditure where you are that is expenses okay in addition to this record difference of receipt and payment account and income and expenditure account is uncertain when you'll prepare this account okay that is receipt and payment account whatever the difference is there either it can be treated as profit or it can be treated as loss see there it has been given in the next line this difference can be in the form of benefit when you are getting benefit it is treated as profit or it can be in the form of loss or deficit okay loss and deficit are synonyms to each other both has same meaning when payment is deducted from receipt or expenditure from income difference is called benefit or profit see for this i'll just show you an example that if you are preparing an account like this okay i'll show See here, I have drawn two accounts. Uh, both are receipt and payment account. Receipt and payment account. This side is payment. This side is receipt. Why this side payment is coming and why this side receipt is coming? That I'll explain you later on. But just I want to explain you what is loss and what is profit. Okay. So see, first what they have given payment total is fifteen thousand, and you have received amount that is ten thousand. So you have extra paid five thousand. So five thousand will be treated as loss. Same way here in this case. See what is their payment is ten thousand, whereas you have received fifteen thousand. You are receiving more amount. So what is there? There will be profit. Okay. This concept again it is given in the line C. That is when payment is deducted from receipt. See this is the first number. Okay. When payment is deducted from receipt. Okay. The difference is called profit. See what they have told. Payment is deducted from. receipt so see here we are what doing this is our first one okay that is payment is deducted from receipt so see receipt is 15000 if we will deduct payment so what we are getting we are getting profit same with this is our second concept okay when receipt is deducted from payment so see receipt is less so receipt is deducted from payment okay as receipt is less amount 10000 we will deduct it from 15000 so what we are getting we are getting loss okay so this is the concept how accounts are preparing in detail i'll explain later on that why payment comes this side and why receipt comes this side that all we'll see afterwards but right now you just understand what do you mean by profit and what do you mean by loss so when you are paying more amount and you are receiving less amount so you are paying extra so you are suffering loss when you are receiving more amount and you are paying less amount so the extra amount which you are receiving that is your profit okay i hope this first point and second point is clear with you this is your first point and this is your second point for explanation clear to all this thing now see further for example a trader same again they have given one example okay what i have shown here they have shown here in this so see a trader has purchased goods of rupees 10000 transportation expenses is paid 2000 the entire goods are sold for 15000 your receipt or income of 15000 against which the payment is done of 12000 see you have purchased the goods of 10000 Plus two thousand you have paid for transportation, so total that particular goods cost to you of twelve thousand. Okay, but now in front of that you are selling these goods for fifteen thousand. Thus the difference of three thousand is called as profit or your gain. I hope this might be clear to all of you. Okay. Now we will see the next paragraph. That is C. A method or system which is maintained to keep account is called accounting. See what do you mean by accounting? So a method or system, okay? A method or system which is maintained to keep the account. So 
the method for which we are keeping all this account okay how we are maintaining that is known as accounting accounting are also known as bookkeeping see what is the another name of accounting sub remember all this because this can be asked as an objective question what is the another name of accounts so it is bookkeeping accounting term is used as a synonym of bookkeeping it means both are one and the same okay in this book accounting term is used in place of bookkeeping okay we are here not using bookkeeping but we are using the term accounting subjects like physics chemistry mathematics accounting subject also have their own existence and significance in the society accounting has its own special utility see uh, all subjects are important some or the other way same way accountancy is also very important accountancy as science is having its rules and principles same way there are many rules and principles in accountancy also that you will learn in future okay it is also an art and science that also i will explain okay later on professional bodies are working at national and international level for smooth functioning of accounting system see why professional bodies are working at national and international level because wherever we go okay as we are talking about rules and principle you go in any corner of the world okay this rules and principles will never change you know that rules and principles are never changing same way there are certain rules and principles for accountancy which will be never changed wherever you go to the corner of the world okay so there are national and international level uh, some bodies are there those who are working and they are seeing that this concept should be same everywhere so that care is taken by the Uh, these bodies which are working at national and international level let us see the definition of accounting accounting is presented in the form of definition by different accounting professional bodies on the basis of definition of the concept of accounting can be understand the following definition is given by american institute of certified public accountants okay the short form is this so remember this that the definition we are which we are going to study it is given by aic pa that is american institute of certified public accountants okay what is their c now the definition accounting is an art of recording classifying and summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money transaction and events which are in part of a, at least of a financial character and interpreting the result there of now see this definition you will learn in part okay the first part is till year that is in terms of money see what it is accounting is an art of recording classifying summarizing okay the three things you have to remember that is recording classifying and summarizing so r c s remember like this okay accounting is an art first of all accounting is an art okay each one should have this skill okay only theoretical knowledge is not important you should know how to pass the entries also so it is an art so uh, recording is there then classifying is there and then summarizing is there this all we will see in future okay in significant manner so what you will remember first part that is accounting is an art of recording classifying and summarizing in a significant manner in term and in terms of money so this three things you have to do in a significant manner and in terms of money then only okay why money is coming because if money is not there it is not a monetary transaction if it is not a monetary transaction you are not supposed to record it okay because in accountancy we record only monetary transaction okay that also will you will learn in future and then the second part of the definition c transaction and events which are in part at least of financial character see again financial character means it should be in terms of money and interpreting the result thereof it interpreting the result thereof what do you mean by interpreting see i gave you an example of this what is the interpretation when we are preparing this so there is a loss of 5000 same way what is the interpretation here that there is a profit of 5000 so at the end you interpret that either you get loss or you get let us see the definition of accounting accounting is presented in the form of definition by different accounting professional bodies on the basis of definition of the concept of accounting can be understand the following definition is given by american institute of certified public accountants okay the short form is this so remember this that the definition we are which we are going to study it is given by aic pa that is american institute of certified public accountants okay what is their c now the definition accounting is an art of recording classifying and summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money transaction and events which are in part of a, at least of a financial character and interpreting the result there of now see this definition you will learn in part okay 
the first part is till year that is in terms of money see what it is accounting is an art of recording classifying summarizing okay the three things you have to remember that is recording classifying and summarizing so r c s remember like this okay accounting is an art first of all accounting is an art okay each one should have this skill okay only theoretical knowledge is not important you should know how to pass the entries also so it is an art so uh, recording is there then classifying is there and then summarizing is there this all we will see in future okay in significant manner so what you will remember first part that is accounting is an art of recording classifying and summarizing in a significant manner in term and in terms of money so this three things you have to do in a significant manner and in terms of money then only okay why money is coming because if money is not there it is not a monetary transaction if it is not a monetary transaction you are not supposed to record it okay because in accountancy we record only monetary transaction okay that also will you will learn in future and then the second part of the definition c transaction and events which are in part at least of financial character see again financial character means it should be in terms of money and interpreting the result thereof it interpreting the result thereof what do you mean by interpreting see i gave you an example of this what is the interpretation when we are preparing this so there is a loss of 5000 same way what is the interpretation here that there is a profit of 5000 so at the end you interpret that either you get loss or you get profit so this is the definition this definition you have to learn in two parts or profit okay so this is known as interpretation of the transactions okay so the whole definition is divided into two part that is we record classify and summarize the things so see record means i have recorded the entry after recording i have classified that what is payment what is receipt like this okay then summarizing it means we will do the total and we'll find the difference and then this difference is interpreted that either this is loss or this is profit okay so learn like this okay so the definition the whole definition of this is divided into two part then next see but keeping development of accounting in mind the following definition is given by american standard council asc it is a service activity its function is to provide quantitative information primarily fin uh, financial in nature about economical uh, economic entities that is intended to be useful in making economic decision so see account to according to asc that is american standard council what do we mean by accountancy so first of all it is a service activity okay so other people accountant or chartered accountant they help us to write down the accounts it is a function to provide quantitative quantitative means con why quantitative information because quantitative means it will give the information in numbers okay primarily financial in nature okay that is we can only record financial transaction about economic entities It, entities means the parties okay the business owner and that is intended to be useful in making economic decisions see if we record such kind of transaction that what is payment and what is a receipt so it is useful in taking the economic decisions okay so economic uh, like that accountancy here the definition is been described by asc that is american standard council okay now let us see the characteristics of accounting see first characteristic okay that is financial characteristic okay what do you mean by financial characteristic see i told you that you can record only the transaction which are recorded in terms of money so money comes into consideration that is known as financial okay so transaction or even which are recorded in accounting must to be measurable in monetary value for example 10000 kg of chemical is purchased the value of this purchase has to be determined in terms of money this chemical is purchased of rupees 20000 which means 10000 kg chemical is equals to rupees 20000 in exchange of chemical 20000 are payable rupee is money okay transaction made through money is known as economic transaction thus this transaction has financial characteristics so each and every transaction which are coming into business should be financial then only it can be recorded in the accountancy okay so that is our first second money as a medium of exchange again same one and the same okay transaction or even recorded in accountancy come in existence through the usage of money money as an exchange will be received by seller for 10000 kg of chemical sold and this money can be uh, he can purchase or any other product or service so let us understand the transaction of seller see what they have given 
what is there seller has 10000 chemi kilogram chemical sale of 20 it has been sold to uh, that is at rupees 20000 so money is coming and then product or service so purchase of any commodity or service by 20000 so there is product the product is sold in terms of money and this will be treated as financial transaction thus instead of having exchange of product of service against product like barter system now the product is exchange against money and it will be treated as that is monetary transaction then see in the definition what it was stated that we have to classify so now the second third characteristic is classification and analysis of transaction see now what is there in accounting different type of transactions are recorded these transactions are made in the cash form or non cash form okay that is credit transaction see non cash means remember it should be credit transaction credit transaction means he will pay the money after 10 days or after 2 days or after a week or after one month but the transaction will be treated as economic transaction because though the cash is not paid right now but in future the cash will be paid okay so that transaction are known as credit transaction so this also learn that again there are two more type of transaction one is cash transaction where the payment is done on the spot second is credit transaction where the payment will be done in future okay so this transaction are performed for any income expense asset or liability based activity these transactions are classified and analyzed on basis of their nature which is derived from debit credit rules of accounting which are discussed here okay debit credit rules we will go in we'll learn in future so right now i'm not focusing more on that due to characteristic of classification and analysis transaction are prescribed time can be seen together at one place what was opening balance of asset how many assets were purchased how many assets were sold what is the closing balance of asset okay all these questions are known as classification and analysis okay see classification means here see the product is been sold one party is receiving the money and one party is paying the money it has been classified into two different parts that is receipt and payment you are selling so it is possible that you might have purchased from somewhere or you might have uh, manufactured it for manufacturing also you need the raw material you might have purchased the raw material so there are two categories that is purchase and sale so this is known as classification of the transaction so there are number of transactions which take place in the business okay and we have to classify them and then we have to analyze them okay how we can analyze them today i have purchased 20000 kg tomorrow i will purchase 10000 so summarize means in total i can find out that in a week how much i have purchased or in a month how much total purchases took place or in a one month how much total sales have taken place so like this we will summarize the things we will analyze the things okay so this is known as classification and analysis of transaction i hope it this is clear okay we will start the fourth point interpretation of transaction c interpretation i explained uh, while explaining the definition also that we will find out what is the difference what is the profit or what is the loss so like that we will interpret the transaction see here what they have said in accounting accounting only accounts are not prepared but accounts are prepared as per the prescribed norms they are also interpreted on the basis of decision details and figure disclosed details and figure which is called quantitative information see why they are telling quantitative information see when i gave you this example of receipt and payment account i express the amounts okay that is in figures i have stated okay so here this figures are nothing but the information is given in a quantitative form that is in numbers when blood pressure of a person is measured and if it comes 120 to 80 it indicates that the person is healthy from the view point of blood pressure okay 120 to 80 is the measure of blood pressure and the common healthy uh, comment healthy is the interpretation so when your blood pressure is between this two figures okay so the com in comment what you can interpret that the person is healthy same way in accounting interpretation can be done from the accounts prepared that is total income is 20000 total expenses 12000 the difference is 8000 so that is uh, known as excess of income over expense okay it can be also said that profit your excess over of uh, income over expense can be said that there is a profit okay so profit of 8000 clear and that person has benefited from this transaction the difference of income expense is in the form of benefit which is interpreted of this figure in this manner transaction recorded in accounting can be interpreted and the result can be understood so is that is clear to you that interpretation means at the end we will find out whether it is loss or profit second next 
characteristic quantitative information see what do you mean by quantitative again i have told you that in terms of number you will find out the things so your information recorded in um, uh, accounts is in terms of monetary form monetary form means it is stated in number that either 10000 20000 15000 like that so this information is known as quantitative information next is see economic decision different stakeholder now first of all the stakeholder word is very new for you okay what do you mean by stakeholder stakeholder means parties related to your business okay all the parties okay all the parties those who are related to your business okay so they are all the stakeholders for you okay so all the parties all the person like data creditor customers okay government your employees this all i will explain in detail but right now all these persons okay are known as that is they are the parties related to your business so all they are known as stakeholders okay take their decision based on accounts prepared by accounting for example see creditors now who are known as creditors creditors are a person to whom you have to pay money okay to whom you have to pay money they are known as creditors how creditors are created so see creditors are created out of credit purchase it means when you are purchasing something and you are not paying the money to them okay on the spot and you are supposed to pay the money to them after one month so till that time period you will be treated as a creditor for that a creditor for that party it means you have to pay the money to that particular party okay so that particular party will be interested in your accounts that how much profit you are getting or not because if you are getting profit and you have if you are having enough sufficient uh, money then only you will be able to pay to him so he he is also interested in your accounts clear then potential this first part is clear that is still here okay creditors make decision to lend money to the company the second part potential shareholders make decision to invest their fund see what do you mean by potential shareholders okay it means they are supposed to buy your shares till now they have not bought your shares okay so they are known as potential shareholders see be very clear with the two words that is first is shareholder and potential shareholder okay see shareholder mean already they have purchased your shares okay your company shares they have already purchased potential shareholder means in future they will purchase if they feel that our company is good okay so till now they have not purchased the share and shareholder means they have already purchased your share so potential shareholders will also take interest in your accounts they will see the accounts okay when you are uh, issuing it publicly so they will see that how the business run okay then only after seeing your accounts then only they will take the decision that they should invest in your company or not so such kind of economic decisions are to be taken but for this if your accounts are not there how this parties how the stakeholders will see that will you pay them or are you able to pay them or not so for that they need to see your accounts and for this purpose this is also one of the characteristics that economic decisions can be taken only when accounts are there if accounts are not there if your details are not there then this parties can also cannot take any kind of decision okay then the next characteristic is historical information in accounting all past transaction and events are recorded these past transaction or even become history past always disclose history accounts prepared on the basis of history represent historical information and result thus accounting has relation with historical information see if you want to see past last 10 years data you can see and you can take decisions sometimes the companies are seeing that before 10 years what how much expenses were there what was the income how much purchase was there okay so they can compare not only past 10 years if i want to see 
that how uh, today i want to take decision that how much raw material should i purchase to do the manufacturing work okay now i will see that how much i have purchased in past so last year data i will see for example this is uh, uh, 2021 okay so i will see the records of 19 that is 2019 to 2020 that how much i have purchased in the last uh, in last year okay so i can find out that last year this was the sales so this year i will take the decision that i should manufacture manufacture more amount or because of the lockdown situation there will be less uh, selling i uh, the products will be less sold so i should not produce much so he will take the decision okay so for that decision he should have the record of the past if he is not having the record of the past then he cannot take the decision also so like this historical information is also useful okay see here they have given a figure that is showing the accounting cycle okay see we can remember recording classification analysis conclusion and interpreting okay so this is if uh, in uh, for one mark it is asked or for two marks it is asked that draw the figure showing accounting cycle so this is the figure which you have to remember okay here you can remember the keyword that is r c a c i okay like that you can form the word that r c then ac and then i so you can remember this figure like this okay and also i am mentioning here the keywords of uh, account characteristics of accounting so that it would be easy for you to learn the answer also see first point is f the keyword m then c i q e h now we can frame the word from this okay like c that is fm okay so your f and m is cancel then he h e he so h and e is cancel and then c i q in place of c i d you can remember c i q so now you have to remember this keyword okay that is f m he c i q f that stands for financial characteristic then m m stands for money as a medium of exchange then h h stands for historical information e e stands for economic decision c c stands for classification and analysis of interpretation uh, sorry transaction then i stands for interpretation of transaction and q stands for quantitative information so from this key point only remember this key point from this key point you can remember all the points okay now from page number 4 we will discuss everything in our next lecture hope this much is clear to you if you have any query please ask